live. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hello, Elvira. Hello, Abby. Hello, Jane. Hello, Denise. Hello, Linda. Hello, Gerda. Hello, Daniela. How good to see you all. <laughs> Hello, Kathleen. Wow. I was reading what you were already typing while waiting for eight to go live. <clears throat> Hello, Sharon. <laughs> Hello, Aditel. And I was like, we have New York here. We have Quebec. We have the Netherlands. We have Germany. Um, thank you, Kathleen. Uh, we have Tom from the UK. <laughs> we have the UK, obviously. Hello, Martijn. Ik denk dat het heel goed werkt, jongens. Heel lief dat je even checked. Sorry, that was a personal message for my plus one son. Hello, Elva. So good to see everyone out here. <sighs> and now I can breathe because it is working and Martijn is not in the house. So I was like, if this decides not to work tonight, I am um, fill in the word of your choice. Hello, Oma from Florida. Hello, Ivona. <laughs> I'm very happy to see you all, seriously. Um, I think I've been procrastinating all day wake, waiting for this moment because the week has been, yeah. I'll tell you all about it in a minute, but the week has been crazy enough for me to spend most of the day thinking tonight I will be with all the butterflies and all be well, all will be well in the world. And look at us, we're here. <laughs> And all is well in our little part of the world. Hello, Jackie. How is everyone doing? How was your Saturday? Let me know all about it. Tell me. I want to know how your day was. I know what Kathleen has been doing. She went to the post office today because she sent me a little package which I cannot wait to get to receive. <laughs> it's Christmas time for me this week. I'm, I'm receiving packages this week. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's packages for all of us. So we also have Israel. That is so cool. All is well in the butterfly garden. That is a really nice way to put it, Danielle. Seriously. Yeah, Kathleen has been busy. Busy in the garden, you can say that. Wet, wet, wet. Well, I hope you're talking about the weather, Jane. Not about you. Uh, oh, Tom has been chilling. And... Ooh, Alva is happy because she's all by herself for once. 8 a.m. here. Oh. Can I have a do-over with you for today <laughs> so that I get it a bit more efficient? Today was not efficient for me. Um, but that's okay. A swim meet. Woo. Okay, why is this starting to blink all red? Don't do that. Computer, YouTube, internet, wh whomever is doing that, don't. <laughs> We're not up for that tonight. Hello, Andrea. Oh, it's pouring, apparently. Yes. Rini, over here, we it's still dry, but we've had lots of wind today. Come on over. <laughs> I'd love to. Seriously, I'd love to. I'd like to run away for a couple of days from the house. Well, not not from my loved ones. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, from work, I could do it running away for a day or two. Just a day or two, because after that, I'll miss it. 
No time to layer today. Shopping kits and garden. Well, those are fun things to do as well. Okay, so the reason that I've not been very busy layering this week is because I've been very, very busy doing other stuff. And I hope you're ready to hear all about it because I will tell you at the end of today's challenge. Yes, I am pretty stoked. <laughs> So I think most of us who wanted to join, join for tonight are here. So let's get right to it. Hello, my lovely butterflies, and welcome for this new Allure A Day challenge. Before we dive into it, I have an apology to communicate to you. I am very sorry for not having been more present last week on the group for not having been as active. You've probably missed me on social media, <laughs> like if, um, because I have not been posting my layers because while well, last week I did, brace yourself, one layer. That is all I had the time to do, one layer. And then that was it. Uh, because I've been working very, 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 very hard. I don't know how many very that were, but maybe not just enough to cover how hard I have actually been working. Um, lots of behind the scenes stuff, but today I finally get to start little by little to reveal what is going on here at my little headquarter. Um, but I do have two shout outs because I know who the two newest members of the group are. For someone who hasn't been very active on social media, I think that that's not bad. <laughs> Welcome to Jen Dubel to the challenge and welcome to Astrid van Kampen. They are our very new butterflies into the group. They just turned from caterpillar to butterfly. So welcome to you. Welcome to the Allure A Day challenge. You will see that this group is extremely supportive and I, that makes me so proud. I don't have to play good cup, bad cup, bad cup in the group. And that makes me so happy and so proud that this group is self-regulating. Well, there's no regulating to do because everyone is so supportive of one another and so encouraging of one another that that is exactly what I wanted this group to be when I envisioned it in my head. And that is exactly what you butterflies are making of it. So Jen and Astrid, welcome. And I'm sure that the whole community of butterflies will warmly embrace you into the group. This challenge is week 43 of 2019. So this challenge will be running from October 26th until November 2nd. We are working this month around the flow and I think you've learned by now that the flow is an actual thing, that we didn't invent anything when we said just go with the flow when it comes to our channeling. It's an actual thing that comes from psychology, from psychology. Um, we have started by observing it, then we went to reproducing it to see if we could manage that, and then last week we induced it. And I think that by now many of you have discovered just how much you can play with that thing if you pay a little bit attention to what it is and how it works. So this week, that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to play with it because we are going to twist it. Welcome to this week's challenge, which is all about twisting the flow. What the heck does she mean by that? Twisting the flow. <laughs> so you've discovered that the more you play with the flow, the easier you can manipulate it. So far we've been playing very nice by just inviting it in and then doing something with it, not altering it in any way. This week we're going to alter it. We're going to invite it in and then say, now you're going to work for me instead of me just following you. We are done with just following the flow. Just going with the flow was yesterday. Today we are going to make the flow work for us. How are we going to do that? You can do this in several ways and it all depends on how you induced your flow last week. If for example, like me, you like to introduce to induce your flow 
using music well this week you're going to use several kinds of music like the ones that you would normally not use because you will see that it will make you work in a completely different way if on the other hand you are a tea drinker and you like your tea unsweetened like plain go ahead and try to put like lots of sugar in there just to kick up all that chemistry that is going on inside put you out of your comfort zone and then get that flow going in a completely different way if you're someone who likes to go for a brisk walk try to go for a very slow very observing walk to see how it affects your flow <laughs> i'm sorry i could not not read are we gonna do yoga with the flow if that is how you want to twist it by all means go and do yoga with your flow but don't forget when you're done doing yoga with your flow to put down a layer in your journal <laughs> Because in the end, that is still what this is all about. <laughs> okay, let's catch up on the comments for a moment. The flow works. Yes. I just read a comment from Gabriel that makes my day. It makes my, my week. It makes my month. It, it makes my work. Gabriel just wrote, the flow works. I know three nights in the row I had to induce it and it worked every time. And this, my sweet butterflies, is why I do what I do. Thank you. Thank you. Abby, if you want to try and go with music you don't like, by all means, torture yourself. <laughs> I was just thinking of music that goes in a bit of a different rhythm. And the reason I came up with this challenge is because years back I did uh, a spread. I had to do a spread for a design team thing. Um, and normally I listen to a particular kind of music. At the moment, it's Billie Eilish. It's Billie Eilish all over. A while back it was Sia. Uh, I don't know why but that's how I work and then I have to listen to the same thing over and over and over and over again until I cannot hear it anymore. And that particular day for some reason instead of putting on the music that I was listening to at that time I listened to Stromae which you might know it's a very famous Belgian musician now. Um, and that was a completely different rhythm. And I do like that song, but it was a completely different rhythm. And I started to work so fast and my spread was done in no time that it was, it was actually really fun. So that when I started to think about the challenge and the flow, I thought we need to do something like that. You need to experience how this can work and how you can make that flow work for you instead of just knowing how to invite it in and then play with it. Um, okay, what else did I write? I already said all of that. No, 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 no. Now, you can also twist your flow in such a way that you change your actual art journaling completely. For example, if you're stuck in a rut and you've been journaling about the same thing over and over again because it's something that really lives inside of you, and you really want to change that up because you're tired of telling that same story over and over again, use that. Use that twist of flow to change what it is you are channeling about. It works the other way as well. If you have that one particular event in your life that you don't want to journal about because it hurts, because you want to keep it at bay, because you don't want that in your art channel, but it actually should be there so that you can put it all out and leave it there, use that use the music that will get you the music the tea the walk the yoga the whatever it is that works for you to induce your flow to such a way that you can get that to work let's see santana okay <laughs> there's a couple of other stromai fans out there um and that's it and we're going to do that again for seven days in a row. So it will already be one third of a new habit. And after that, you can just use it, whatever you need, like that. You're welcome. <laughs> 
So that's it for the challenge this week. We're still working on the flow, but this week we're going to twist it in whatever way you need to twist it, in whatever way it works for you, just twist it and have fun with it and play with it. That's it for the challenge. I already kind of did that this week. You skipped ahead, Abby, that is completely not okay. I think you need to burn that art channel and start all over from scratch. <laughs> you know what? Try to try to twist it even further and see how that rolls out this week. Oh, thank you. Oh, I am formidable. Oh. Okay, so the butterfly is already getting excited about the challenge. I'm really looking forward to your layers. And this week, I will be able to follow on what is going on in the group. Because last week, like I said, I managed one layer. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. <clears throat> Not. Um, the thing is, and you already know this, on November 4th, I will be on Hochenda TV for two shows. Now, if you don't know what Hochenda TV is, I'll put up links and links and links on my Facebook page. Don't worry, you won't be able to miss it, even if you would want to. Um, and don't worry if you're not from the UK, you can follow it live online. And if you cannot follow it live, you can still rewatch it online because it stays available on their channel. How cool is that? Again, you're welcome. Uh, so two, show, two shows, the one will be at noon, the second one will be at 4 p.m. and that is UK time. So if you're used to calculate according to my time, when I say for Central European time, watch it, this time it will be a different time zone because I will be in the UK, not in Belgium. So it's a different time zone, so you need to recalculate at what time it is where you are at. So at noon and 4 p.m., what will I have for you? Just a couple of thingies. Just, I mean, yeah, um, um. <laughs> I am happy to let you know that I will be there with five new stamp set. And I'm the first one to say that I think this is my best collection ever. I cannot wait to share those with you. I've had to hold back, I'm still holding back, but I cannot wait to finally start sharing these with you. I will be there with five new sticker sheets. I know you like the stickers, I know you like how you can alter them to make those work for you. I still have four plain whites one. I know, it's just plain white stickers, huh, who cares? You can alter these, you can paint them, you can colorize them, you can do whatever it is you want with them. As long as you leave some time for the glue to dry, they will do whatever you want them to do. Five new sticker sheets, among those, one with artwork again. Yes, I am stoked. And then, and this is the part that I am the most excited about, I will be there can I, can I have some drum roll, please? I'm all about drum roll lately, apparently, but can I have some drum roll? Uh, wait, wait, I can do, where's my, where's my other one? Oh, here it is. Let, let's do some drum roll. Eight new stencils. I will be there with eight new stencils. I am stoked about these because it has been a complete roller coaster, but they will be there with me on the shows. <laughs> Kathleen is giving me some drum roll. Oh, everyone is giving me some drum, drum rolls in common. Thank you so much. Eight new stencil designs. I will be there on Monday, 4th of November with eight new stencil designs. I know I've said it three times already, but that is how stoked I am to have those with me. I said it about my stamps, that those were my best ever. Let me reiterate that about my stencils. That is my best collection ever. 
Yes, I can't wait to start sharing. Then I will also have two other little thingies like on the side. I will have Journal on Monday Art Channel Kits. And I have been receiving so many messages about when oh when will there be new kits? Well, November 4th, I will have new kits. And the best part is they will be available on a regular basis on my web shop in the future. You didn't see that one coming, did you? And then the last thing that I will have with me on uh, Hochenda is a little kit. It's a very small little kit. It doesn't look like much. It's like, oh, really? It's just a pencil and an eraser and a blending stump. Yeah, cool. Mm hmm yeah. You know me. <laughs> you know that I just don't come with, with, with. I only bring it if it's worth it. It is that new water-soluble charcoal pencil that I have been using, which I have paired up with a blending stump and a kneadable eraser so that you can make the best shades in circles ever. <laughs> Because, because we, we don't shade anything else, don't we? <laughs> it's, it's just all about the circles. Okay, I'm kidding. I love that pencil so much that I thought I need to make a kit with that and bring it to the shows. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, five new stamps, five new stamps, five new stamps, I'm sorry. Five new sticker sheets, eight new stencils, journal on the art channel kits, and the water-soluble charcoal pencil. Those will all be with me on Hochena TV. And, of course, from Monday 4th, November on, they will all be available on my web shop. And that is why I have been so silent last week, because I have been working my butt off to get all of that ready. And if working your butt off would make you lose weight, I would be like this. <laughs> It doesn't work that way, does it? So, well, all I have for now is being very tired. Thank you, makeup. <laughs> Real life Photoshop. But I am so stoked with everything that is um, going on and is coming with me to the TV shows that it's all worth it. I am, however, looking forward to um, some more creative time this week because I've seriously, seriously been missing it. And that's it. <sighs> I'm done. That's all I had for you today. <laughs> it was quite a bit, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, let's catch up on the comments. Oh, wow. Okay. Kathleen, stop drooling on your phone, please. The thing is not waterproof and you already had a fight with it last night. You cannot afford to fight it with some more. <laughs> Ooh, Gabrielle has been drooling since the stamps. Well, from Monday on, that's the day after tomorrow, uh, Monday, October 28th, I will be starting to share more and more and more and more so that by the time that the shows are up, you already know what's to come and what you would like so that you can choose right away. Okay, I'm going to stop here because I could keep this, I mean, I'm so enthusiastic about these things that I could keep this going like a couple of hours. I don't want to do that to you. You have better things to do, like putting down a couple of layers. So this week we are going to twist the flow, see how we can make it work for us in the way that we want it to work and not how it wants to work and get it in such a way that our art journaling is really telling what we want to tell and not just going with the flow because we can influence that. Enjoy it because it's the last week that we're working on the flow. From next Saturday on, we will be changing the subject. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you everyone for joining me tonight. Thank you uh, for those who recently became a new Butterfly patrons. You know it means the world to me. Uh, for my 20 plus patrons, I will see you tomorrow on the Flutterings because I have a new thingy coming up for you. For all the other patrons, I'll see you on the Patreon page, on the closed Facebook group. For all the butterflies, I will see you on the Allier A Day Challenge group. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone for joining me tonight. You do mean the world to me.
butterfly kisses and don't forget to put down the layer.